Is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard no horse <laughs> The show is Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, and our guests today are Lisa Moscatello, Hi. behind the guitar, and Fred Leader, behind Hi. the cello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's our first time. Lisa is from the Washington, D.C. area, and a favorite selection on the WAMA awards chart. WAMA stands for Washington Area Music Association, and they call the awards whammies. <laughs> <laughs> so you have won many of them. Yes. In several categories. Yes, and I want to get more categories in there. <laughs> 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 and uh, I have a new album out, which uh, 
kind of marries two different things that I've been doing. Um, I have been playing and building a career over the past 10 to 15 years doing um, a lot of traditional music. I played uh, for many years in a band called Whirligig that was from New York City. Um, that was sort of a Celtic jazz, klezmer, whatever we felt like sort of band. And um, the whole time I was playing with them on the folk circuit, I had this other side, this double life, where I was doing vocals for a techno band called Arthur Loves Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so that band, Arthur Loves Plastic, was sort of a underground electronica band that had fans in um, a whole different part of society. And I, I really love the songs that uh, the songwriter Bev Stanton wrote. Um, and for the new album that I've just put out um, called Trouble from the Start, I did a lot of her songs with live musicians and songs that she and I wrote together. And that was one of them called Trouble from the Start. That's the title cut. So it's kind of the opposite of what usually happens when someone does a song acoustically and then some techno artist remixes <laughs> it. And we kind of did it the opposite way. We took techno music and made it uh, Folkified. human. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> cool. What else would you like to do for us? Well, we have a song um, that was also by Bev and me called What Happens After Love. And we'll leave that up to your audience to decide the answer to that question. Nice picking and nice bowing for both of you. Thank you. Thanks. Really well played. Thank you. you are both denizens of uh, Unitarian 
performing spaces. That's right. That is veterans. Uh, we're veterans. We've played the best Unitarian churches uh, with the best. <laughs> <laughs> we call that the lemon squares and folding chairs circuits. Um, <laughs> and there's always there has to be a raffle, or else it's not a folk concert, right? <clears throat> and what are they usually raffling off? I have no idea. I don't even know if they, after a while they don't have a anything to raffle. A rocking chair made in to, Guatemala or... Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> a cow. <laughs> a brownie. <laughs> we could do one that um, uh, Bev wrote called Feel the Love. And um, this is one that when we recorded it, it was really challenging because it had definitely been done electronic with a mechanized drum and a uh, fake organ. So we had brought in a real organ and a very fine drummer named Robbie Magruder, who uh, is best known for um, touring with Mary Chapin Carpenter for many years. Mm -hmm. And um, he really handled that um, sort of trip hop feel perfectly and we're going to break it even further down with uh, Fred is going to be organ, drum, bass and probably some other things that we don't even know about. <laughs> Across the bed, it's not a badge you wear. I'm talking of your misery in a world that doesn't care. Feel the love rise above the world that drags you down. Feel the love. Rise above, leave it all behind you. Tomorrow never comes when you're. Rise above, leave it all behind you now. When your life becomes a lie, you can't live until.
want to let folks know how they can get in touch with you and find out more information about your recordings and your touring schedule and so forth. They can write to you at Lisa underscore Moscatello, M-O-S-C-A-T-I-E-L-L-O -L -L at yahoo.com. And I really like to hear from people. I always write everybody back. Maybe not right away, but... Uh, or they can go to lisamoscatello.com. Lisa yes. For more information. And that'll get to me also. And I just want to show off these recordings. This is your most recent one that you've been talking about. That's uh, Trouble from the Start. And you also have a recording of a concert in a Unitarian Fellowship That's right. or church with Fred. <laughs> that is a live concert. It is um, completely undoctored in any way. So if you want to get the uh, whole truth and nothing but the truth, hmm. uh, that's the one to get. And Fred has a recording of cello. What else is on that recording, Fred? Or is it? Well, it's just uh, four songs on it. I just wanted to get my feet wet, and um, it's it's titled Cello Blues, and that's pretty much what it is. It has a couple original blues tunes, and it has the uh, a gospel tune and the George Harrison song, Something in the Way She Moves. And for more information about that, you can go to fredleader.com. You know, yeah, well, I, yeah. Would, I, would go to, I would just go to Lisa's website, and she could send it to me, because I, I don't have a web page up, so. The only person in the universe without a web page. Yes. You should be in the me. Smithsonian. <laughs> You've got the address, but not the page. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> So um, we could do one that we uh, put on Second Avenue, and uh, it's the title cut to Second Avenue. And this is um, a song that I wrote in response to Cole Porter's great <laughs> song, What Is This Thing Called Love? Which, uh, unfortunately, he never answered that question. So people like me had to go try to find out. And <laughs> It can be very dangerous. You can get hurt. Uh, and the conclusion that I drew is, that what is this thing called love? It's a disease. <laughs> you know, because it has symptoms, the sweaty palms, dry mouth, dementia. So that is my take on it. And uh, <laughs> I'll let you know if I find out any more about it. For just a fleeting moment with you Back on 2nd Avenue With the sun playing in your hair Paper flying in the wind You smile as you turn to me again and again Oh, love is an affliction Love is a disease Robs you of your dignity It brings it to your knees And it happens in the future It happened in the past Takes the moment from you, oh, it swindles you at last. I'm turning you round and round like a diamond in my hand. I'm a dog that chases his own tail, a statue made of sand. Oh, but just for one look from you, the touch of your hand. Oh, I hope you do, I hope you don't. I think you'll understand that love is an affliction. Love is a disease. Robs you of your dignity. It brings you to your knees. And it happens in the future. It happened in the past. It takes the moment from you. Oh, it swindles you at last. For just a fleeting moment with you Back on the second avenue With the sun playing in your hair Paper flying in the wind You smile as you turn to me again and again Oh, 
you smile as you turn to me again and again. And you smile as you turn to me again and again. Voices breaking up on the radio But the lights were warm And the night was sweet and sad In your bed by the window I thought you were my dark eyes Come back from a foreign land Holding the sea and the stars Yes, I didn't understand, but gave you everything instead and fell with the snow beneath your window. Comforts me that you and I sleep beneath the same night sky. Me in my home alone, and you, you in your bed by the window. Time flies when you're enjoying good music. We've got about three and a half minutes Is this our to go. Finale. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like people to know? Um, well, we tour um, in all of the areas covered by this broadcast, I believe. So, just um, hopefully, we'll see some of our uh, audience out there and you're listening to us but we can't see you so hopefully we will be able to see you at some point check it out on www.lisamoscatello.com so we're going to do um ralph is a banjo player and we happen to have a banjo tune all set to go and that's a very famous tune um, many versions have been done uh this particular one I got from a uh, singer in North Carolina. It's a uh, mysterious little song called Little Maggie. And um, thanks for having us, Ralph. It was Our pleasure. Very enjoyable and relaxing to be with you. <laughs> <laughs>